solo piano to a big band, and this is the Worcestershire Youth Jazz Orchestra, uh, led by Ian Hattersley, who has done for many years, the guiding light behind that. And they've got their annual bash, basically, at the Artrix next Sunday, the 29th of April. Their guest next Sunday night will be Enrico Tommaso, trumpet and vocalist, or trumpeter and vocalist. But I had a word with two of the members of the band uh, who came into the studio in the week uh, to chat about what they're going to do, and about them as well. Megan Bilsand and Tom Cox. Megan plays tenor sax, although she's a clarinetist, and Tom Cox plays drums. So what started you, Megan, in, in this in the first place? What was the first instrument you picked up? <laughs> clarinet's actually my first instrument, right. even though I play tenor sax with YJ. Um, my clarinet teacher got me to do all the jazz grades, which I really enjoyed. So she was the one that introduced me to sax, and YJ, she was the one that suggested me to join. So you've been playing jazz ever since you were knee-high to a grasshopper, then? Yeah, I must have started in about year six, yeah, from my yeah. teacher. Yeah, fine. I had another teacher before that, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and what about you, Tom? Drums? Yeah, drums. I started when I was nine years old, so 2009, um, so a bit later, and uh, didn't really get into jazz until we moved up here from Reading. Yeah, my drumming teacher, um, Gareth Hughes, introduced me to um, Ian and YJ, and uh, ever since I started, I've been loving it every week since. What was he got you into jazz, then? Um, well, he we were doing some exercises uh, in terms of some rudiment stuff, I think it was, and uh, rudiments are never particularly interesting, and he found a way to <laughs> turn it into um, some jazz improvisation solo thing, and I thought, oh, that's pretty cool. And he said, oh, well, I've got someone who might be able to help you take this further then. So livened it up just a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah a lot. Yeah. <laughs> um, is any of this jazz hereditary? Uh, I mean, can you, can you, or the music generally, can you blame parents for this? <laughs> um, the jazz, not particularly, that was mainly down to my teacher, but my mum had done, you know, brass band stuff before and she played, you know, the clarinet before me. So, yeah. Oh, well, <laughs> that's it. What about you, Tom? Um, well, my mum did a, a degree in uh, vocals um, at university and she did quite a bit of singing of jazz and she also plays the piano as well and she would play jazz. Um, I think I'd also listen to jazz on the radio a bit, um, but never really taken it in that greatly until I started with YJ. Neither one of you stood a chance, did you? <laughs> <laughs> The other thing is working with the professionals that come along. I mean, that must oh, be yeah. quite fascinating. You've, you've yeah. obviously done that before, yeah. Yeah, yeah several times. Um, actually, on, on our gig on Sunday, we're performing with Enrico Tommaso, who's an excellent trumpet player and singer. Um, we did a gig with him before. I think it was at Hershaw oh, Jazz Festival, yeah, um, in oh, August yes, last yes, year. Yes, yes. And uh, his voice has got such a nice, warm tone to it, and I really enjoyed working with him. But we've worked with quite a few different people, um, especially Percy Perseglove and Alan Barnes, Alan Barnes as well, yeah, just to name a few. And it's been really great to see sort of where you can take your music further beyond YJ, beyond university. Talking about taking music, uh, Megan, you are carrying on with yes, music, so yeah, you're, next yeah, year. what are you hoping to do? Um, I'm doing a BMUS hopefully at Huddersfield. And there'll, there'll obviously be a jazz element for that? Um, yeah, or probably. The... It's a straight course, but... But, I but, don't but you'll go and play it. Yeah, it. I yeah, yeah of course you know, will. There's a big band up there, of course. I'll... Yeah. <laughs> what about you, Tom? Um, well, I'm actually looking at studying ecology and wildlife conservation, which has got nothing to do with music. <laughs> but, of course, my music makes up a big part of my life and I will continue it. You'll so... go and play, won't you? Yeah, yes, all, of the, well. all of the universities that I'm looking at have big bands and they're desperately looking for drummers. <laughs> Are there any particular people that you listen to? I, I listen to a, a range of different styles from like rock to jazz. But I would say that as a, as a drummer that's influenced me, um, obviously Buddy Rich is a big name that comes up a lot. But I think more modern drummers, um, although not strictly jazz player, but definitely jazz and blues influence, Steve Jordan, who plays drums with John mm. Mayer on all his big tours and he's in his trio. I think his kind of whole demeanour and playability is really good. 
What about you, Megan? Yeah. Oh, for me, it's more obviously people like Glenn Miller, Benny Goodman, just because really? of the clarinet. Yeah. You know, that's yeah. my instrument, so obviously I enjoy that yeah. quite a lot. <laughs> but you play saxophone in the... Yeah, I do yeah. play sax in YJ, yeah. That's yeah. my sort of second instrument. <laughs> right. OK, um, uh, and if um, you had uh, any sort of choice of music you could play, if somebody said, right, you know... Uh, you can have any choice of music. What would you, what would you come up with? Would you still stick to jazz, or would you do something a little bit different? Mm. I think it would definitely be jazz influenced. Mm. Like, um, at the moment, I've been really enjoying that sort of lo-fi hip hop jazz influenced kind of sampling stuff. I think that would be quite interesting to work on because not only does that incorporate elements of jazz, but also other styles. And what about Megan? Yeah, I'd say I'd probably stick with jazz, to be honest. Yeah. Mm. And this is the Worcestershire Youth Jazz Orchestra in 2010 from their album The Horn Ultimatum, and this one is Cottontail.
comes to you with Jazz Orchestra there from 2010 and Cottontail. And before that, I was talking to Megan Bilsand and Tom Cox, who are both members of Why Joe Now. And they'll be playing at the Artrix on the 29th. That's next Sunday evening uh, with, of course, the guest Enrico Tommaso. Let's have this one from John Dankworth and his orchestra. 